Here's a session I did with my cousin's dog, Moira. She likes to eat animal poop in the yard, so we wanted to introduce her to the muzzle. So this is like introduction to the muzzle. She eats poop. <laughs> the first step is you show it to her, and then I'm just gonna treat her if she shows any interest in it at all. Look at you there, mama. Yes, good girl, good girl. So this is just a regular muzzle that I cut the face off of. So you can more easily give repeated high value rewards. Good girl. There you go. Good job. Yeah. And this pla this material is way more flexible than the other one. So it's kind of better. And you'll have to see. Like some dogs, if she's really motivated, like I wouldn't put this on like a high bite risk dog because they could still bite through it. And like for her, you know, since her thing is poop, some dogs will learn that if they just push on it enough, they can still get to it. So might not be the best choice for her, but like it's good for what we're doing right now. But like for what you're using it for, I think like this like slightly stiffer plastic is a better, is a better choice. Good girl. What's this? The muzzle with the face cut off is good for like once she's used to the clips, cause then you can clip it and then give a lot of treats. Cause the problem with this, muzzle is that it doesn't have good treat holes, um, which is my beef with some of my other, I have other bed good muzzles, but but I like this for once you're doing the straps and then you can just continuously treat, 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 treat without worrying about getting it like into the tiny holes. Um, and there's a lot of different types of muzzles and they're all good for different things. And there's a couple ways you can start this. Get it, get the treat. I've seen people do it with like a cup too. Like it's just like getting her used to sticking her face and stuff, which is really weird and abnormal for dogs. So I'm basically doing nothing if she does nothing and then treating her if she sticks her face in. Yes, good job. Good job. So I just want her to voluntarily put her face in without me putting it on her. Good. And we're not clipping it yet. We're not doing anything like that yet because that's like a, that's a next step. So we can't move on to the, that step until she's comfortable with this step. So you gradually start getting longer and longer periods of time of her nose being in the muzzle. Whereas before it was like, if she looks at it, I'll give her a treat. Now it's like, she needs to hold it in there for a couple seconds. Yes, good job. And now I'm moving to treat her outside of it instead of having the reward in there. Yes, because I don't want her to only put her head in if there's like stuff in it. And I could give her like a muzzle command. I'm not really doing it yet because she doesn't know what it means. But once you've done a bunch of reps of this, then you can say like muzzle and present it, wait for her to put her face in. And then that muzzle cue just means put your face in the, in the thing. No. And it's a lot of like being patient like this because she's trying to outweigh me and being like, maybe she'll just give it to me if I do nothing. Doing this for a month is better than just strapping it on her face and expecting her to be totally fine with it. Like I'd rather, you know, you do five, 10 minutes a day, like one meal you feed with kibble in here or do this exercise. And then when you bring the muzzle out, she's like, oh, this is like a fun thing that I'm excited to do instead of like, this is like this crazy contraption. And it will depend on the dog and how intense they are and how food motivated they are. Like 
for how long you want to drag this out. Like some dogs, you might only want to do like four reps of this and then they're going to get like bored or overstimulated. So you want to cut it short. That was a little bit cheating. Yes. Better though. Do it better. No. Yes. Good girl. And so like someone, once they get the hang of it, they'll put in like an inch and it's like, no, you can, you can do better than that. Like, so you want to up the ante kind of each time, but still go at their pace and not, because if I just expect her to hold her face in here for two minutes, that's, she's going to not want to do that. So it's like, we have to build it up really slowly. And like, ideally, yes, good girl. You do this like inside where there's not a lot of distractions. Yes, good job. And so my timing on that was kind of bad because basically what you want to do is wait her out long enough that I'm rewarding her for putting more time in, but not saying yes right when she's pulling her face out. 